got scammed. Yep, that's right. I got scammed out of $1,500 from my microblading trainer. And the more I share this story, the more I realize I'm not the only one who got tricked into spending money on a microblading training that really didn't do anything at all. If you're new to my channel and don't know who I am, my name is Christy and I'm the owner of Boss Brows. I've been in the beauty industry for nine years now and I specialize in microblading and microblading training. This channel is all about sharing my tips and tricks and my business experience so that you can step up your brow game and learn from my mistakes in this example. So how did I get scammed? I like to think I'm one of those people who really doesn't get scammed easily. In this case, I was really excited about microblading. It was this new amazing art that transformed your eyebrows into flawless masterpieces. So first, I got my eyebrows microbladed, and the girl who microbladed my eyebrows was actually the girl that I went to for my training. So immediately, I thought I had a trust with her because she did my eyebrows. When I had told her that I was an esthetician and interested in learning the art of microblading, she mentioned that she did one-on-one -on -one private microblading trainings. I was ecstatic. I couldn't wait to learn this art, so I immediately jumped on the bandwagon and called her and set up a time for us to start our training. What was the agreement we made? I had to pay her $1,500 via PayPal in order to get trained by her in the art of microblading. So what she said she would do is I would come in, she would teach me how to microblade, and then we would work on five clients together. Now in hindsight, I realized that this is a really weird way to do microblading training. You don't just do one day of training and then do five clients together when you're a beginner. It's just not enough fundamentals being taught and not enough practice before working on five clients. But at the time, I had no idea. I was new, so I didn't know that this was a weird way of training. I was just so excited that I was willing to do anything it took to become a microblading artist. The first day I showed up at her studio, she gave me one microblading pen and it was actually this part that was used you could tell it was used it didn't look brand new it didn't come out of a fresh packaging she gave me one blade i remember it was an angled blade i didn't even know that there was a difference between a u blade and an angled blade um and then she gave me one synthetic practice skin in that practice skin there was an example of how to do the microblading strokes you know those ones you can buy on Amazon that have the strokes kind of drawn in, but it's not like there's really any pattern to it. It's just little strokes put in there. She gave me the tool and gave me the skin and told me to start drawing in strokes. She didn't tell me how to position my hand. She didn't explain the microblading tool itself. She didn't explain how deep to go, what layer of the skin the microblading needed to hit. She didn't really tell me any of this. So anyway, I sat there trying to figure out how to do these strokes. And I remember being really frustrated and confused and trying to ask her a question. And her response was, you'll figure it out. What did she do that entire time I was practicing on this? She was playing on her cell phone. Then she told me that she had clients coming in. I had only been there for 20 minutes and she had a client coming in 30 minutes? Are you kidding me? What I thought was a one-on-one -on -one training ended up being her taking my money, showing me really nothing, and then her working on clients. So when I noticed that clients were coming, I told her, should I come back? And she said, yeah, come on back and we'll work on your clients. Okay, cool. So I went home, started practicing with what I knew, and did what we all do. I went to YouTube, and I tried to teach myself. Now, at the time, there weren't as many videos on microblading like there are now, but I did what I could. I went on Facebook, I went on Instagram, YouTube, and I really tried learning this stroke pattern and this art of microblading by just copying what other people were doing online. It was not the way to go. Anyway, fast forward to when my trainer, who had only spent an hour with me, stopped answering my calls, stopped answering my text messages, and never contacted me again. Over a month had gone by and I was getting really frustrated. Why isn't she calling me back? Is she ducking my calls? Did she just take my money? What's going on? I was really upset, especially because I didn't have a lot of money at the time and I had just spent a lot of money for myself. Unfortunately, I never did get that $1,500 back. It went down the drain, but it was a huge lesson. The reason why I'm sharing this story with you is because I'm finding out that a lot of people have gone through a very similar experience with me. And so you're not alone. I'm not gonna share the girl's name, but what this woman who was supposedly training me, what she didn't realize is that I don't give up. I was gonna persevere and learn this art and become a badass in microblading. I like to achieve my goals. 
and now I had a new goal. One day, I wanted to help other people who wanted to learn the art of microblading become badass microbladers. A couple years later, I developed my own training that had everything in it that I thought I would have wanted. Something that I didn't get and it was really important for me to um, put into my microblading trainings was continued support with my trainer. Most trainings, you go to the training, you get trained, you do a lot of exercises and maybe practice on a model and then you go home and you have to apply all of what you learned at home. The problem with that is I feel like you learn so much in a concentrated period of time that sometimes you forget things. So one thing that I added to my trainings and I felt was really important was that continued support. So whether you're doing online training or group training, I have my students do assignments at home and then they turn them into me and I review them. I take the time to review each assignment I have them do and I critique their work offering tips and tricks to better improve their microblading. I want them to become the best microblading artist possible and that usually happens over the period of time after after their microblading training. So I want to be there with my students after their training to make sure that they're learning as much as possible. So let's talk about the lessons I learned. I learned to always take your time when making any big decision in your life. That was part of the problem. I rushed the decision of which microblading training I was going to choose. That's on me. And you know what? I learned a very valuable and expensive lesson. The second thing I learned was read reviews. Check out that person or company's Instagram, Facebook, website, read reviews on Yelp, Google. Check out all the information you can about that company and see what they have to offer you. The third thing I learned, ask lots of questions. It's okay to ask tons of questions. Don't think that you're being annoying. Honestly, you're investing in your future and it's a lot of money to invest in a microblading training. So you wanna make sure you're choosing the right one. Ask questions like, is there continued support with the microblading trainer? What tools do I get in my kit? Are there hands-on exercises? All of these types of questions should be asked when choosing a microblading training. Lastly, just do your research. There are a ton of trainings out there and it doesn't mean that one is better than the other. It just means that one is different than the other. So there are online trainings, group trainings, private trainings, depending on your style of learning, you wanna choose the right training for you. At the end of the day, one training is never enough, so maybe you wanna do both. Maybe you wanna do an online training and a private training. It doesn't really matter, as long as you do your research and find which training is gonna be best for you. I love happy endings, so I'm gonna tell you about my comeback. After my trainer hustled me for $1,500, I decided I'm not giving up. I'm gonna persevere, I'm gonna work my ass off and become a brow boss with or without her help. I pretty much trained myself for another three months until I could save up the money to pay for another training. I've done online trainings, I've done group trainings, and I've done private trainings, and I've learned so much. I now run my own microblading studio. I have tons of amazing clients. I am booked out three months in advance. I make six figures a year, and I really love what I do. I also developed my own training for microblading, both online and group. I will say that I'm grateful that I got scammed for $1,500 dollars by my microblading trainer because something that I didn't think I'd get out of that was learning how to teach someone the art of microblading. The reason I developed a training is because one, I really like teaching. I think I'm good at it and I think it's an amazing experience to be able to start someone on a new career path. Two, because I never want what happened to me to happen to someone else. If you've experienced anything like this and are interested in learning more about the microblading trainings that I offer, I will post the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday.